Hundreds of years ago, this area was filled with bison. Today, we know it as the National Bison Range. Ken Burns, the world-renowned filmmaker, has made a new documentary about the tragedy of the loss of the American bison. The near extermination of bison had a profound impact on, on us, our culture, our way of life. In the 19th century, there were an estimated 30 million bison in the U.S., but as settlers moved west and the demand for bison skins and body parts grew, herd size dropped. By 1900, the bison were on the brink of going extinct. In Burns' documentary, different tribes share stories of the bison's near extinction. Rosalind Lapierre, a historian and member of the Blackfeet tribe, calls it far-reaching. So, for example, oftentimes when we talk about um, the, the turn of the last century when the conservation movement and the preservation movement got started in the United States, we often glorify sort of those white men who were part of that process. And one of the things that you'll see within this particular film is sort of um, not that glorification, but thinking about some of those people who were the leaders of the conservation and preservation movement, and especially the restoring bison um, uh, at the turn of the last century. Burns says diversity in documentaries is important, especially when it comes to the story of bison. We tend to presume that the white American view is the only view there is, and that even if it can be sympathetic to other views, it's still part of our view, and at, at times we've just learned to just be quiet. It's commonly known that bison are associated with Native American tribes, but Whisper Camel Means, a CSKT wildlife biologist, explains it's more unique than most think. I would love to see across the state of Montana different tribes showing their connections, their individual unique connections to bison, using their words for bison, being mm -hmm. able to see the dichotomy across the landscape, that we were all connected to a, a species, but we all have a different relationship. It's not just the same thing everywhere. On the National Bison Range, I'm Catherine Rowley, MTN News.